what's happening so fam today we are reviewing boop boops the shaman tarot all right before we get started don't forget to like subscribe follow follow us on instagram follow us on tiktok support us on patreon and if you're looking to learn how to do tarot or you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching to tap into your psychic abilities and become the most divine being that you've always been meant to be check out the links in the description below you're gonna get all the resources down there to help you evolve and understand and take the quote the the whatever steps necessary for your success so all right so let's get started into this okay this deck i've had it for a while it was a gift and i love it um it's one of those other decks that i use to talk to my ancestors i will literally say that all the time very shamanic uh, shamanic good juicy vibes here um, one of the things that I really do like about this deck is like its philosophy it's different this is another one of those decks that doesn't have um, like wands blades you know they have like stones they have drums they have bows they have bones and even those even though those correlate with the other um, arcana from other rider white decks it is kind of like a learning a learning curve at first to kind of like get a use uh, a handle or a used to um, with this deck it is extremely wise and if you combine it with my homeboy uh the native american tarot deck you can get a lot of juicy information you can definitely see how i've used this on my tarot tuesday this is one of my personal decks that i have one of the best gifts that I probably have gotten, honestly. And I love the way it handles. Like, there's something about the way the, the cardboard is. Like, it's a great size for, for shuffling really fast. They're about the same size as my Native American tarot deck. Um, great dimensions. The feel, they're fast for, like, picking up and moving. So let's dive into the art. The art can be pretty interesting. Definitely got those shaman vibes. And each one of these cards has a very different meaning than like the traditional Rider White deck. So like learning these cards, um, knowing another like Rider White system or any other system of divination is gonna help you understand these cards a little bit more, but it's not going to be it, you know? art on it is like absolutely beautiful it's also very like captivating oh my gosh i love it so much they're very vibrant they speak their own story so like if you're somebody who's been on the shamanic path you know like this is definitely one of those decks that you want to like you want to use A lot of the major arcana are about the same. So they won't be hard to learn, but they have a different philosophy, just like the Native American tarot deck. They can be extremely powerful if you already live this lifestyle and you already are very familiarized with what is necessary for this.
I'm like silent because I I'm getting captivated in the art itself the box is okay I mean it's not a traveler box like there are boxes that are more sturdy but I don't really take this deck with me anywhere I usually use this deck for home stuff like like I said connecting to my ancestors asking nature or reality like more profound understanding it's one of my homeboys I don't use it very often because I try not to burn it out but having different colorful decks as well can be very beneficial Especially if you know a lot of shamanistic lore and like the meaning of totems and like the illusion. Like this is one of those decks like if you at, were raised as a shaman, you are going to so connect with this. It's crazy. But it's also great for any level if you're open to learn it. And it's not expensive. It comes with a booklet. Just like the Native American one does. So you're gonna learn everything that you're gonna learn. Just learn it a little bit different. This is one of those other great cards that I really like a lot. So pretty. There you have it, there you have it. Especially the back is something that I really like too because the back is one of those things that you can't tell whether or not it's positive or negative. I love that about specific kinds of tarot. So let's see how it handles. What's something that we should focus on right now? Dive into your soul. Reflect on your own existence. Step into that power. Know what is necessary. That is the final judgment. So allow yourself to spend some time healing and connecting with your ancestors. And dance to the drums of life. There are many things to be celebrating right now. Like I said, one of my favorite decks. Gotta definitely vibe with it. Gotta definitely, you know, it's not for everybody, but if you're into like shamanic stuff, definitely, definitely something you wanna get into. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, follow us on social media, support us on Patreon, join our tarot class, and I'll catch you in the next one.